Jorge Salas dándole vida a la guitarra, colaborando con Once. Son las consecuencias del pasado que me duele, pasado por historias que hasta huelen a muerte. I'm here with, with Z. Hey, hello my brother. Um, okay, so we were just like talking earlier and saying how how awesome the song sounded and that it's like a combination of rock and rap and all that man you know because like when i was writing it um I, i i had a lot of trouble like thinking about what i wanted to do there i think did i tell you that i don't think so because <laughs> no, like i wanted a rock singer And I, you know, I, I didn't even know how many people I thought, you know, okay, who can sing this? Who can do it? <laughs> and for some reason in my head, I was like, you know what? I want a rapper. Why not? And then, and then since all my other songs are in Spanish, I, I wanted someone that could rap in Spanish. And it's hard to find that, you know, <laughs> there's not, there's not a lot of people. And so then I found you and it was just like, it was perfect, man. Oh, uh, damn. So, I don't know. I'll ask a question, and then you ask. Okay, perfect. Yeah? Okay, I'll start. So, like, one Z, like first off, dude, thank you so much, like, for doing the thank song. You. I think it sounded great. And, uh, like, thanks for recording it, too, man. I didn't know you were going to do it that fast. And, I mean, you did it, like, <laughs> that weekend. But uh, it looked great, man. So, so, yeah, thanks a whole lot. So I'll start off with, uh, when did you start music? When did you start playing? Uh, yes. <clears throat> And so like for the audience, hold on real quick, man, sorry. For the audience, Onesie's first language is Spanish. So sometimes if he speaks Spanish or whatever, you know, that's, I mean, that's okay. I think most of my audience speaks Spanish as well. So if you need to, sp you know, answer something in Spanish, then by all yeah, means, no you know, it's, it's okay, man. It's okay. So, okay, so okay, perfect. So at my 16, I guess, can't remember clearly. Now I have 30. So many years ago, I remember when I was in the high school and I used to write my own lyrics in the white page of my books in class. It was so funny. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. And so like you started off writing lyrics in high school. Yes, I remember. Yeah. In, the, in, the, in the books, you know, I used to write my lyrics there. Yeah. <laughs> Very, what high school did you go to? Uh, La Salle. I don't know if you know. La Salle? Yes. La Salle. La Salle, yeah. What city? Yeah. Uh, La Laguna. La Actually, Laguna. La Verdellada, in Tenerife. Tenerife. <laughs> okay. How close is that from, like, Madrid or... Oh, too far away. La... This is Canary Island. You know, okay. so Madrid is, like... <laughs> Okay, I'm not familiar with the geo the the location, but okay, that's cool, man. <laughs> have you been to Madrid? Ah, uh, yes, of course. I have family over there. Oh, okay. It's Do you amazing. go often or no? Ah, uh, no, not much. No. Okay, I asked you a couple of questions. You go. <laughs> okay, now my turn. Uh, what made you want a whopper for this song? It sounds like rock, but you went with a whopper. Why is that? Okay, good. Yeah, that, that's a good question. And I, I don't know why. I just kind of, uh, I just kind of thought, you know, that, 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 that's what I wanted. It kind of happened. And I hear the drums, you know, like how the drums sounded. Yeah. And it just sounded so good. I could just keep hearing in my head, like, I need a rapper here. I need, I need someone rapping. And, you know, like, it wouldn't stop. And, Sometimes I wanted to get like a normal singer or a rock singer, but something in my head just said, get a rapper, get a rapper. You know, it sounds good for a rap. Get a rapper. And so, so I just, I did it, man. And, you know, I'm glad I did. So oh, I'm going to ask you, I'm going to ask you one now, okay? Un pregunta. Okay. <laughs> uh, where did your name 1Z come from? Oh, <laughs> well, it has a long history behind the words. I will try to say it quickly and easy to understand it for you, right? Okay. Uh, before of all, I began with my name. My name is Carlos. But at the oh. end, I remember when I put the letter Z instead S. So my first mm -hmm. AKA was Carlo with the Z at the end. After that, uh -huh. my next nickname was Pumat. Then uh -huh. Friale, 
So I decided to change one more time and final one. I like rap music in English. That's the most that I listen to. I like the number uno. So in uh -huh. English is one, right? And yeah. of course, the magic of all my name is the letter Z at the end of the name. And yeah. here we go, one Z. One Z. <laughs> Perfecto. So like, it's cool because like when, when I was listening to your rap, and this is like not part of the questions or something, but like when I would listen to your rap, you know, the, the Spanish that you speak, it's different than what we speak over here. Oh, and, yeah. And, you know, like you would say, uh, trayale, right? Like there's no trayales. Yeah. Yes. Like in Mexico, we would say trayales or pumas or, you know, I mean, different uh, zapato, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. But like. I think with you guys, you know, it's different. It's zapato, right? Or yeah, a but yeah, but the people from, I mean, like uh, Madrid or that zone, that area, they say they said they pronounce that letter in different way, different way than me. Oh. In Canary Island, is is pretty different. Oh really? Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty different. So so it's neat because we we have a unique uh, Spanish that is being sung in the song, you know, that's in the song. Yeah. So that that's pretty cool, man. But yeah, go, go ahead, cool. your turn. Yeah, okay, so how did you find me? Onesie. <laughs> <laughs> how did I find you? Dude, you know what? I found you, I, I think it was like on YouTube. On YouTube? I think it was on YouTube, yeah. And, you know, I wanted someone like kind of close to my age, um someone that was i mean one he was good you know someone close to my age like i was saying and um you know i i saw what you were doing and i think i heard some samples of you too because i think you had fiverr no did you have fiverr uh, yes i have fiverr. yeah and so i heard some samples and you know like the way that i work with my singers is a little bit different than i think your traditional singer would work with and so then I contacted you, you know, straight up. I don't like to go through the middle. I just like, you know, let's talk <laughs> yeah. you and me. And, you know, like, this is what I'm doing. This is what I want to do. And, uh, you know, I found you and I was like, you know what? This guy's pretty good. I heard a lot of your stuff before I did. But, you know, I also got to do this and I'll do a quick shout out to Giovanni, the drummer. Oh, uh, Giovanni, he's, he's really good. He's a, he's a good friend of mine, man. He's done the last three songs with me. And he's great. He's from Italy. Yeah, yeah. And I kind of found him the same way through Fiverr. And, uh, man, he's he's just great. And so, you know, I just wanted to give a, a little quick shout out to Giovanni because, man, he puts those drum beats on tight. And so, yeah. you know, good, good shout out to him. And, uh, yeah, man. So I'll ask Amazing. you one now, okay? <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Okay. What genre of music do you prefer? Uh, the most that I listen uh, is rap music from USA, like Camarie, uh -huh. Nipsey Hussle, Quando Rondo, Fetty Wap, Ice Cube, Drake. Also, I listen to R&B like Aliyah, Mario, Joe, The Weeknd, Sonta, Tyrese. Too many artists that I like. Also, I like Nordic music like Warjuna, and sometimes uh -huh. I listen to reggaeton music like Sech or Daddy Yankee. The uh -huh. only thing that I can say is I love music, man. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I can tell. We both do, man. <laughs> um, like, you know, I don't know some of these artists, actually, that you're talking about. Let me see. So you said, like, Anne-Marie. Oh, yes. Uh, Nips. Like, dope. I don't I don't know any. I know Ice Cube. I've heard of him. Drake, you know. Nipsey but I Hussle, heard... you know him? Who? You know Nipsey Hussle? No. Oh, man. You no, I don't. <laughs> I, I just, I listened to Eminem. <laughs> Eminem's like one of my favorite <laughs> rappers. And Tupac. Of course. Um, N.W.A. Yeah. And you know who else? Uh, Zach De La Rocha from Rage Against the Machine. Have you heard Rage Against uh, the yeah, Machine? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, so this is kind of like a Rage Against the Machine kind of song. Yeah. Kind of, I think. You know, it yeah. has like the big guitars, big riffs, and then like it has some rap. But, you know, like, and, like, as much as I kind of don't, I don't really, I don't know if I really like Limp Bizkit or Linkin Park. Um, oh. I don't, I don't really think I, I listen to them enough. But, you know, it's kind of similar. Like, it has, yeah. like, that rap with it. Limp Bizkit is really good. <laughs> is, are they? I I haven't, I heard, uh, well, you know what? 
is Limbiscuit. I think they did the Mission Impossible theme song. I think that I I mean, that's like a weird song to like <laughs> talk about. But that, that, it's a good song. I I think it was them. I don't know. But that that one was was pretty dope. Um, but, so I wait. think it's my turn to ask you, Ryan. Yeah, go, man. <laughs> so um, uh, why did you title the song Verdad or Consecuencias? Oh, that's a good one. Uh, I, I forgot that that I said that one. Um, so I, I would drive in New Mexico in the, the state New Mexico. Are you familiar with the U.S. states or not? Not, uh, too- not much. No. Okay. Well, like I live in Texas Okay. and the state next to me, closest to me is called New Mexico. Okay. Yeah. And so New Mexico has um, a city called Truth or Consequences, which is <laughs> Verdad o Consecuencias in the English. <laughs> yeah. And so I would drive by it and it's kind of like a small town, like very desert, you know, very small town. And, um, you know, nothing bad about the town. It looks like a really awesome city, little town, you know, and the name just really stuck to me, you know, like it just sounds yeah. cool, like truth or consequences. It's amazing. It just, it sounds cool. It rolled off my tongue really nice. And so I could, at first this song was called Truth or Consequences. It wasn't even in Spanish. <laughs> and then when I got you, then... You know what? We we had to to go Spanish. You know, verdad o consecuencias, and so it just it worked out like that, man. And wow, it's pretty cool. I like yeah. it. <laughs> it's it's awesome, man. All right, next one. If you had the opportunity to collaborate with an artist, which one would you collaborate with? Oh man, uh, as I said before, I would like to collab with Dan Marie, The Weeknd, Juan de Rondo, Mario, uh, Joe. Why is still why not <laughs> yeah that's pretty cool man so like have, have you done you've done other collaborations before right ah uh, yes with a lot of artists actually lot, lots of artists a lot of that's artists awesome. yeah have have you done like where you're like the side rapper or have you been like the main main rapper in there I, like kind of I like used, how i did i i used to be like the main rapper i think yeah okay yeah. That's awesome. How how many how many like other projects or people have you collaborated with roughly? Oh well, with uh, some from part from Africa, uh, mm-hmm. actually USA, UK. Mm-hmm. I think from <laughs> all around the world. <laughs> That's awesome. And like, is how do you how do you get to know them? Is it is it through Fiverr or somewhere else? Uh, Sometimes it's through Fiverr. They contact me there. They like how, how I work. And then they say, hey, maybe we can make a song together, right? <laughs> yeah. And I say, yeah. Yes, of course. Yeah. Oh, man. That's cool. Yes. Cool. Good for you, man. Pretty good. All right. You go. So um, in the video, you always have like a cross like this, right? Like a crucifix. Mm-hmm. Why is that? Um. Well, in the video... I wanted to, it, it was kind of like, I think the whole song, like the lyrics that you wrote to, like said a story to me. And I felt like it was like a, a test for myself, you know? And so like oh. my, I guess my faith, like my faith in God and all that has always been like, it's always challenged, you know, it's hard to believe <laughs> yeah. in sometimes, you know? Because it's it's just kind of crazy, you know. It's it's crazy to think that you know there's a guy in the sky, you know, and, and all that. Like it's crazy, <laughs> you know. It yeah, really it is. is. It is. It is. But um, at the end of the day, like I have so many blessings, and um, you know, I have my daughter that is like my ultimate big time blessing, and uh, just you know, all my my studio, everything that I'm I'm very very grateful for. Um you know, my, my fiance, everything. And, um, you know, I think I kind of wanted to show that video as like, like my struggle with faith. Cause at the beginning I'm holding the cross, yeah. you know, and I'm like, kind of like, yeah, I I'm, I'm struggling with it. You know, I'm struggling trying to believe, but in the end, I kind of wanted it to always be on me and to like, like symbolize that you know i'm always there and this isn't necessarily it's not like a christian song you know it's yeah, not yeah i know yeah it can mean different things for many different people and that's that's kind of what i wanted it to do and that's what you did i mean you did it awesome so um 
you know, I wanted it to mean different things. And for me personally was like my struggle in my faith and to like, just like keep it even like on the hard times. Cause it's easy to believe in God yeah. when, it's, when it's the easy times when I'm making money and being successful, <laughs> but it's hard to keep your faith when things goes bad, when things go bad. Yeah. When things go really bad, you know, it's easy to be like, you know what, forget it. Yeah, you know? that's it and man. so I wanted to like, you know, keep that, you know, Amazing. But yeah, that that's 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 a good one. And I have one more question for you, man. Oh, perfect. You ready? Yeah. Let's see. What is your favorite songs? Uh from rap, Nipsey Hustle, Rap Niggas, Victory Lap, from uh -huh. Anne Marie, Secret, from Quando Rondo, Double okay. C's, and Go Wrong. From R B, Mario, Let Me Love You, Tyrese, How You Gonna Act Like That? Uh -huh. And yo, if I was your man. So like, I love it. Okay, so all of these are like rap and R&B. Do you have any like rock favorite songs? Have you ever been into rock? Uh, not actually, but I like uh, Lim Biscuit. Uh, he has okay. a song called uh, Eat You Alive. Okay. I don't know if you know it. And that song is really, really amazing. <laughs> yeah. Like, do, do you like, like, uh, like maybe like, I don't know, like, Metallica or Ozzy Osbourne. Uh, I'm those. not in that. You you don't know them? No, I don't know. No. Okay. I know. I think Slipknot, something like that, maybe. Okay. You know, I haven't heard too much Slipknot. That's like one band I ha I really haven't listened to. Um, but okay, that's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Go my last question for you. Go for it. <laughs> uh, what was your inspiration for this song? My inspiration for this song, man, I, I didn't really think about that. Um, I think I just started writing, you know, I think I came up with that, that riff. Watch, I'm going to grab my guitar. <laughs> Your best weapon. That what? Your best weapon. Yeah, I'm, I'm, my best weapon. I'm going to use this one because I'm not plugged in. But I think I came up with that riff by, by accident. <laughs> You know? Oh man, here we go. I was like, oh man, that's cool. And it kind of reminded me of um of like Black Sabbath. Do you know who Black Sabbath is or no? Uh no, I don't think so. They're an old school metal band and Led Zeppelin kind of reminds me of that era. And then uh the next riff is very like slash inspired. Do you know who slash is from Guns N' Roses? The one that's Oh I think Have I you heard that song or no? Yeah, I know, I know. I think I, I think I heard. But he, yeah. he, you know, like the next riff reminds me of something he would do though. That was amazing, man. You know, and so I wanted to combine both of them. And somehow it just happened. And then, you know, just do, 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 you know? Well, yeah, yeah. It's just easy. Man, you know, we should make an acoustic version of this song. Yeah, maybe <laughs> we, yeah, why not? Maybe we should. It would be amazing, man. Keep that, Random idea. keep that in mind we could do it yeah i will i'm gonna keep that in mind <laughs> but that might sound kind of cool anyways um yeah i think it just it just kind of it just happens when when i write a song it just it goes by really quick it happens and i write it in maybe an hour or two and then uh but there's a lot of edits you i mean i think you remember how we were editing a whole oh, lot yeah that um you know we were doing a bunch a bunch of different edits and i was cutting things here and there um but you know ultimately it came out really great i think it came out exactly how it's supposed to come out and and it came out perfect so yeah you know i'm really really happy with the outcome and um you know another shout out to the mixing engineer his name's jerry ordones from a really awesome studio called Sonic Ranch. And then the mastering is Marco Ramirez. Man, I mean, they just, I mean, my mix, you know, like I do my own mixing. <laughs> I mean, I thought it sounded okay. And then you give it to the, these guys and it comes back sounding so good. So perfect. You know, yes. sounding, it sounded professional, you know, yeah. it sounded like so good. It's, it's on a radio. And so, you know, shout out to them. They work with me really well, really cool guys. And, um, you know, that's it's just r really cool stuff, man. So good. But yeah, I'm so happy with the song. I'm so happy yeah, to work too. with you guys. Yeah, 
Yeah, me too, I'm man. So and we, we gotta do we gotta do something else sometime. We gotta do something new. Um, there's just a lot of a lot of projects, a lot of different things, you know, both of us do, but we're gonna find time and we're gonna do something else. Yes. Maybe that acoustic version, man. <laughs> yeah, we, we can do an acoustic, but I'm talking about something new, new, like not just yeah. acoustic yeah. version, but something like really new. Yeah. yeah. Really soon, man. I'm so happy. Yeah, man. Well, dude, like, uh, before we go, I just wanted to thank you so much. Like, man, you sounded really good. And I know you delivered your parts really fast. <laughs> you know, you you really did. I mean, it took you maybe, like, what, maybe a week, right? Maybe, for all, maybe, maybe. For the three verses, it took you, like, a week. And, I mean, they're just cool. There's some parts in the song. Let me see. We're, we're going we're gonna to listen to a little bit of the song. Because there's there's some lyrics in here that I'm just like, man, that's cool. Let me find it. Let me see. <laughs> right here. El silencio grita, uh, lo que el corazón siente. Man, that is cool. <laughs> that's amazing, that's, man. That's, that's one of my favorite lyrics there. I mean, there's a bunch of them. There's a bunch of little ones here and there. Man. That is cool. Okay. There's some more over here. In the second verse. I think it's over here. Que levantas nueve. That's cool. No conoce. Yeah, dude, it's all really Amazing. cool. So, um, for those of you guys watching, I'll put this up on YouTube, on you know, ev everywhere we can. And uh, guys, check out the music video with us. It has been really cool. Thank you so much, One Z. I'm gonna call you One Z or Carlos, man. One Z. I think One it's better. <laughs> One Z, yeah, right there. So, guys, check out One Z. I'll put all of our our links, everything in the descriptions everywhere that uh you know that we need to be so uh thanks man we'll work again really soon okay brother thank you for everything man all right then uh cuídate okay cuídate bro all right adios adios